Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. I'm Papa Boris, and in this video, I'm gonna play some more Faster Than Light. More being a bit of a generous word, because I haven't played this game in almost five years, but it is one of my favorite games of all time. I began playing it again on a whim. I've really enjoyed the new Advanced Edition content, although new, again, is a generous word, because that's been out for a couple of years now. But anyway, let's go ahead and do another video on it. So I'm gonna play this time using one of the default ships, the ones that you start with. Uh, here, the, the the Kestrel, I will be using the B version, which is called the Red Tail. Now, as in my other videos, if you were around five years ago and watched them, uh, you can check out the description to this video and see a table of contents, which will show you the timestamp of when I reach each sector. And the importance of that is that if you don't care about uh, my pre-game discussion, then you can just go ahead and, you know, just skip ahead to the playthrough when it begins but for those folks who are struggling with this game and just want to beat it on normal uh i want to explain why i'm choosing the red tail and why i think it's a decent ship to try to beat the game with note by the way i will be playing on i will be playing on normal <laughs> back in my day there was no hard normal was hard it was hard enough and it's still hard enough so we're gonna keep it on normal um, I'm sure there's some people now who play on hard on YouTube, and uh, if you want to watch some psychopaths play this game, then by all means, go ahead and click away, find another video. So, uh, Red Tail versus the Kestrel. I'm not saying the Red Tail is better, but I prefer it. I want to explain why I prefer it, and hopefully as I give my reasoning, you know, you can think about it for yourself and decide which ship you'd prefer. So, one thing is that the Red Tail, of course, has an extra crew member. That's a big deal because extra crew is very good. Not only does putting crew on your sensors or your doors let you upgrade those systems, uh, and having an extra crew, of course, helps you deal with invaders better, but um, these are good crew. So, the Mantis is obviously nice because I always want to try to have with this ship a teleporter for the final boss. It makes the final boss a whole lot easier to have teleporter capabilities. And to use a teleporter effectively, you want two... Uh, in some combination of Mantis's, Rockman, or one of each. So, having a Mantis at the start already gets you half the way there. You're practically living on a prayer. The Zoltan is also very good. Zoltan power the rooms that they're in, and as you've seen in other videos, or if you've played the game yourself, you can very easily get to a state where, at the end of the game, even if you buy all the battery upgrades that you can possibly buy, you still don't have enough battery power to function all the systems that you might like to use. So by having a Zoltan on your ship, you, accept, you effectively increase your total battery capacity by one, and that can be a really nice thing to have in the final boss. So uh, by contrast, the Kestrel has three humans. So you're one less crew member, and you don't have those aliens, which do what they do. Let's talk about weapons. That's the other main thing I want to discuss. So the Kestrel has a burst laser Mark II, which fires three shots every 12 seconds. The Red Tail has four of these basic lasers, which each fire one shot every 10 seconds. So you're firing four shots every 10 seconds instead of three shots every 12. And that's a big difference because two seconds is a lot in faster than light. And an extra laser, the difference between four and three, is not just quantitatively, but it's actually qualitatively very significant. The reason for that is that a few sectors into the game, you start running up against ships that have two shields. Now, if you're fighting a ship with two shields and you shoot four lasers at it, you can miss one and still get through. Whereas if you're fighting, firing only three lasers, all three have to hit against a double shielded ship in order to get any damage through. So yeah, that's a success rate of 100% that you have to have versus only 75%. And that's significant because by that point, the ships start to have better, the enemy's ships start to have better evasion. And so expecting a 100% hit rate to get through is bad. And having to wait an extra two seconds to fire those shots is also bad. But wait, Boris, the Artemis missile. Yes, this thing lets you get through some shields. However, if this misses, then you're stuck waiting another 11 seconds before you can try again. So a lot of times you're just sitting there hold, holding your breath, and if anything happens to your weapon systems, you're screwed. If the ship has a really high evasion and dodges your missiles, you're screwed. If you run out of missiles, you're screwed. Whereas with the, the Red Tail, I'm not saying this is like easy mode. I mean, I failed plenty of times playing this. It's, the game is hard no matter what ship you play as, but you have a lot more flexibility because if your weapon systems get hit, like for one damage, it just knocks out one laser. It's not the end of the world. You can still fire the other three. On top of that, you're fighting, you're firing two seconds faster all the time. So that's a huge difference in, in, this, in this combat system. You're probably going to be taking less damage to your hull as a result. On top of that, because you're firing four shots every 10 seconds instead of usually just one weapon every 12 seconds, 
your weapon person gets up to expert really, really quickly. It's like a four times faster increase. So you're going to have a better person on weapons. They're going to train up their weapon skill faster. And that's going to give you an additional bonus. So that it's going to be actually a more than two second difference firing these lasers on the red tail compared to the single Mark II laser on the Kestrel. So there's a lot of advantages to these four lasers. It's not just an extra shot, but it actually has significant qualitative value as you play the game. Now, what are some points in favor of the Kestrel? Well, this is one of those things where when you download the game the first time, this is the first ship, so you think all oh, these weapons must be kind of crappy because they're just the starting weapons, but these are actually some of the best weapons in the game. So the Burst Laser Mark II is phenomenal. It gives you three shots for two power, which is a very good shots to power ratio. A lot of lasers only have a one-to-one -one ratio, and some lasers are actually below one-to-one. -one. But by giving you more shots than the power it consumes, this laser gives you incredible efficiency, and it really helps you get a long way towards having a, a laser strategy for the final game. The Artemis missiles are also fantastic. It's only one power, it deals two damage, it's really, really good ratio again. And these are both weapons that you might have in your final boss, and they still give you up to five weapon systems power to work with to upgrade your arsenal. So, by contrast, the Red Tail, these are, these are garbage. I mean, you might have them in your final arsenal, I guess, plinking away a little bit, but this is nothing to get excited about. So you start with garbage weapons, but in the short term, it makes you much more effective in the early game. So that's the trade-off, is you can suffer a bit with the Kestrel, but have a better loadout at the end if you can stabilize and get to a good point. Do note, when you play the Kestrel, there's a lot of pressure to improve your weaponry because this thing just doesn't cut it by itself around Sector 3 and 4 when a lot of ships start to have two shields and you have to lie on these missiles. Whereas with four lasers, you can do much better against ships that have two shields and you're not spending missiles, so you don't need to worry about that resource at all. There's a lot less pressure to find new weapons. I mean, you're not going to deal with the you're not going to deal with the final ship with these four lasers, but you have more time to find your better weapons. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed that discussion. If not, I'm I'm sorry, but let's go ahead and start. All right, so here we are starting off the game. Let's go ahead and do our initial assignment. There was a little bit of strategy to think about here. I don't like to have Zoltan on the weapons because the problem with Zoltan is that if you for some reason have to move them away from the room, it can leave something unpowered, which is very annoying. So I prefer to put Zoltan on the shields. I mean, not that it's not annoying to have your shields suddenly go unpowered, but it's generally less of a problem than to have a weapon go unpowered because weapons take 10 seconds to charge and shields do not take that long to recharge. I'll put my human on the weapons. I don't want to put my mantis on there because eventually I'm going to want my mantis to go become a, you know, teleporter person and I don't want the Mantis training up skills. Now, I'm gonna put Mantis on the doors to make the doors stronger. This is because in the early game, it can be very irritating to deal with fire or invaders and having the doors be blast doors is pretty effective. However, there's nothing wrong with putting a Mantis on the engines for that extra, you know, five evasion. That's also fine. We're gonna depower the med bay that allows us to have a maximally upgraded engine for the most dodging and of course, all of our lasers powered. Let's go. Um, let's talk about strategy here for Sector 1. Sector 1, I do not care about stores because the only thing I care about in Sector 1 is getting up to 50 scrap and getting my shields up to level 2. I think that's the, the most important thing in the early game. And with level 2 shields and those 4 lasers, you can coast through Sectors 2 and even 3 and be in pretty damn good shape. So in Sectors 2 and 3 is when I start to save up scrap and start looking at the shops. I want a lot of things. I mean, I, I'll take what I can get. You can't plan exactly in Faster Than Light what's going to happen to you. But I want to get a good weapon. Um, I want to get a teleporter, of course. Drone system would be nice. And then one of the new systems, hacking or mind control, are also good pickups. You can't get them all, not even close, but you know, something along those lines. But I want to get up to two shields first. Now, just in case you don't know, or if you haven't seen my other videos, I do always say this at the beginning of my videos, you want to go to options and make sure that show beacon pads on hover is enabled. This makes it so that when you're jumping, you can see what beacons touch what other beacons. You don't want to randomly lose the game sometimes because you thought two things were close enough and they weren't or waste efficiency because you just didn't want to take the risk. Just turn this on, you will be grateful that you did. Now in the first sector, you really want to get as many jumps as possible, because especially as the red tail, you can just dominate any other ships that you find. So you don't want to get to the exit early. 
Now this exit is a little bit uncomfortable because I don't really have much leeway. I can land here, and then I can land here, and then I can go here. I'm concerned that that would be wasting some efficiency because the exit is so far to the edge. Is there a better way to do it? Uh, no, not really. So what I guess I'm going to have to do is try to get here as late as possible, and then jump here, and then jump to the exit. And I don't want to go to the store. I do want to do these nebulas. So I could try for a path like here, 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 here. And then go here. That's, uh, it's, that's difficult to pull off. That requires some pretty damn precise geometry. So I don't know if I can do that, but that's something I want to do. By the way, the reason I'm jumping in the nebulas, of course, is that when you jump into a nebula, it decreases the, the, the pursuit of the rebel fleet. So you can get more jumps in. We're obviously going to demand the surrender of their goods here. They don't want to fight and they're trying to escape. That's fine. So they're trying to escape. Let's take a look. They're lasers. They're shooting two lasers, so they will get through my shields. So I'm going to hedge my bets here. I'm going to shoot one laser at the pilot first and three at the weapons to try to disable one of the lasers. It should take long enough for them to charge the FDL that I can then switch after depowering one of the lasers and fire more at the cockpit to stop. Uh, the FDL from charging. All right, so notice here. This is actually really nice. I got a guy here that I don't really need to care about I can just starve him of oxygen for a little bit and Then once he breaks through this door, okay, I got all the hits on the weapons All right now we're gonna switch I'm gonna split between the pilot and the engine so that if they repair one the other's still broken and the FDL still doesn't charge I'm gonna turn on auto fire. I don't necessarily recommend having auto fire always on but uh, when you have these four lasers, it definitely makes things very convenient to just have things auto-firing and not having to worry about re-inputting re the commands. All right, now this is a done deal. Um, in fact, I'm just going to send these guys to the med bay to heal up because these weapons are not going to matter anymore. I mean, having someone on the pilot, I guess, increases my odds of evading a shot and getting some training on evasion for my people, but it's not that big of a deal. We found a weapon. This is... Not a great weapon, but it is one that I might use in the short term. Let's take a quick look. So we're looking at, oh, this is a heavy one. Uh, yeah, so this is 13 seconds, and it's a, it's a power two. I was thinking it was the power one that did one damage and recharged eight seconds. Yeah, this is just, this is just scrap. That's all it is. I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to spend two weapon systems power on one shot, even if it does deal two ion damage. Uh, it's just not worth it, because basically... It means that it, I, well, I mean, it could be worth it, I guess. I could shoot three lasers, which isn't as effective as shooting four, after ten seconds. Then three seconds later, I could shoot the ion. And then if the ion lasts long enough, you know, I could potentially, um, oh, hang on, I need to, that's what's happening. The oxygen's not powering this room, so my pilot took some damage coming back through this, this hallway. There we go. Hey, let me actually, I don't remember if this button was here before. This might be a new thing in the advanced edition, uh, saving your crew positions. So that way I can just press this button and send everybody back to their stations. I'm going to just play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie here before I try to do my big loop. I'm trying to get as many spots as possible. Let's, yeah, let's do this as well. I don't want to go to the store. I just want to get 50 scrap for shields. Um... All right, I'm not properly equipped for a mission, which is very annoying. So I just had two places that were blanks, which kind of sucks in the first sector because I really want to destroy things and get scrap. This is actually a bit of a tough fight. So there's, this is a hacking drone. I wonder what they're going to hit. They're going to hit the doors. One nice thing about the enemy is that they're not very smart about where they send their hacking drones. By the way, if you don't know this, um, hacking uses a drone part but does not require the drone system so i like it a lot as a mechanic in terms of game design because it gives the drone parts a use even if you don't get like one specific slot once this thing is sitting here you can activate it and for four seven or ten seconds depending on whether it's upgraded to level one two or three it disrupts the system that it's attached to and it does different things depending on what system it's in. So it can do some obvious things like de-charge the shields, suck charge away from the weapons, set evasion equal to zero if it's on the engine or the pilot, or it can do some weird things. Like uh, in the med bay, it actually causes the crew to take damage. The nice thing about hacking too is that it locks the doors of the room that it's in. It turns them into blast doors basically that the enemy crew has to bash their way out of, which can increase some tactical opportunities because it can, for example, um, work well with uh, teleporter strategy by blocking people out of rooms or locking them into rooms. 
Alright, so I'm gonna be shooting their weapons. They've got two different laser shots here. I'm one scrap away from getting my next shield, and I can theoretically power it by getting rid of one engine power and one oxygen power. Alright, that worked out nicely. The laser shot first and bumped against the shield, so then when the ion hit it didn't actually do any damage. This is actually uh, quite, a, quite a significant um, surrender. Normally you don't want to do surrender because you get more scrap for not doing it, but six fuel is a lot of fuel. I am actually going to take that. Normally I, I don't take surrenders, but in that case it was quite a big deal. So we're going to be depleting oxygen here. I do want to get back up to... Uh, 20 scraps so I can buy another battery bar. This is a storage which is annoying because I don't really want to go here. Even selling off that ion weapon, I'm not going to get enough to buy anything significant. So, crap. I guess we're just going to start jumping into the nebula and possibly end a little bit early. Intruders on board. That is annoying. I don't get any rewards for this. They are in the oxygen room. Even in a nebula, by the way, you can tell where the intruders are by seeing what is being attacked. And I am going to just play it safe. We're going to go ahead and... Um, Let's do like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just suck some oxygen out of them. I'll have the mantis run in, but a lot of times what'll happen is they stop fighting the system when they realize that their oxygen is going to deplete us. So notice, notice they've stopped punching the oxygen and starting to punch these other doors because they are afraid of asphyxiating. All right, so there's some guys, so we'll fight them. And can I fight some in the med bay? Obviously you always wanna fight in the med bay. That's very convenient. Let's close all the doors here. That's the hotkey X to close all the doors. Alright, this is going to require a little bit of attention on my part to not take a, to not take a hull damage. I'm going to send these guys to the med bay for healing, and then I'm going to send the guys who are currently in the med bay over here to fight those guys and stop them for, from screwing up the doors. This mantis might actually die, so I just want to be a little bit cautious. All right, there we go. So, I mean, it sucks. I didn't get any rewards for doing that. So that's like my third blank jump in the first sector. Uh, obviously, you know, nothing is ever gonna go perfectly. I, I could very easily still end up winning this run just because of better luck later, but this is not the, the best first sector that there ever was. We did get that one nice surrender with six fuel. That's effectively a lot of scrap because usually I end up having to buy fuel at three scrap a piece, so I think it was worth it to do that. But um, kind of sucks that I got so many blanks. Um, I could actually go down around here. The problem is I don't know if I can, I can then get back up here in time. So I'm gonna play it a little bit safer. We're just gonna jump there. Okay, so we got a nice little um, burning sun. So I'm definitely gonna keep the mantis on the doors. There's a missile here, so I definitely need to shoot their weapon systems. I'm probably gonna take one missile hit, but notice like if I was playing as the Kestrel, I'd have to really hold my breath and hope that this missile didn't hit my weapon systems. Whereas here, if it hits the weapon systems, it's not the end of the world. I will, I think, just keep shooting at the weapons. Ooh, interesting. That is a really good surrender, my god. Uh, 17 scrap is great for sector 1, and 3 fuel, and a fire drone, which, whatever, I might even sell that. I don't even care, um, about it necessarily, but it's pretty sweet that we're getting these awesome surrenders. Now I have to wait for the solar flare, which is actually fine. I'm gonna just air this out. It didn't do any damage to my ship because it didn't break a system. I'm gonna wait as long as possible. There we go, the fire's gone, so we're ready to jump. Let's jump into another nebula. Attempt to follow them. Hey, we actually got another crew member, nice. So an NG is very nice to have. I like NG a lot, not just because they repair faster, but because they work for a lot of the special events. They give you some better rewards. Um, Zoltan and Mantis is not so much, but NG up here on quite a few events. So that's actually a very nice pickup. And now we also have plus five evasion uh, because he's on the engine and he's gonna start training every time the enemy misses us. We'll get, uh, you know, get some evasion training and eventually we'll have someone who's really good at evasion. All right, so um, let's do it like this. I still want one more power bar so I can get that second tick on my engine, but this is fine for now. Uh, all right, I believe I should be able to jump to this nebula and be okay afterwards because it is a nebula. 
All right, this thing is interesting. So I definitely want to get rid of these weapon systems. I believe that is a charge ion shot. So the charge weapons are a new type of thing. It's like a normal weapon, but if you don't shoot it right away, you can charge it up and fire more shots with it. Um, so, I actually haven't been that impressed by them, to be honest. I usually would rather have just like a good weapon of a generic type. But, uh, it's, you know, it's a nice little variety sort of thing. Alright, so we got an asteroid field here, so it's very, very good that I upgraded my shields. This is one of those weird situations where somehow uh, an enemy ship with no shields in an asteroid field. I don't know how that works. This thing is gonna die even if I do nothing. I mean, it honestly might die before I can even fire a single shot. Let's get rid of its, uh, it doesn't matter anymore. It took a hit on the weapon so it can't damage me anymore. So I guess the stealth is the only thing that really matters. Okay. Decent, decent haul there. Getting some pretty good hauls. Uh, I did miss a few places because they were blanks, but uh, I'm happy that, that the rewards have actually been above average. I took off oxygen to man my shields, or sorry, my engines. And now we can jump. So yeah, we're gonna be able to make it. There might have been a way to get through some more beacons, but uh, this is fine. This is actually the same exact ship as we saw earlier. No, not the same exact, but it's very similar. So there's the charging ion, and then there's the beam, and the beam can be dangerous. So I'm gonna go ahead and target the weapons. Either one of these getting knocked out is fine. Okay, there we go, they're both gone. I guess we'll try to shoot at the uh, cloaking system for convenience, although I have a feeling it's gonna come back online before I can fire again. Oh no, it did not, excellent. So now it's not gonna do that, and at this point it only has one hit point, so it doesn't matter what I target. So, there we go. Let me actually put some oxygen back in my ship. Alright. And we do get to jump here. So, all in all, it was a pretty decent number of markers. It'd be nice if there was one more nearby. That is a really good trait. Ooh, one drone part for six fuel? Yes, please. That saves me a lot of scrap. In the end. Alright, let's dock with the refueling platform. Alright, so I did take three damage to the hull, but the, the benefit is that uh, we get to fight a ship. And in fact, I don't think this ship can even get through my shields, so I am not going to worry about that. We're just going to target the piloting and the engines so that more of my shots land. Yeah, my shields come back before this ion. This is why I don't like, I believe this is that weapon that I got, the ion that takes up two power and deals two damage. Because even with two, it's the shield still comes back before it can do anything. Ha! <laughs> ah, you're gonna power up your FDL, huh? Should've done it to be at the beginning there, asshole. All right, so that's that. 18 scrap for the trouble, which will more than repair the fuel, the hull that was damaged, so that's fine. And we're on to the next sector. All right, now this is a pretty nice map. I'm actually kind of happy with it. I don't like nebulas. They're very annoying. I mean, it's, you get to jump more places, but there's more annoying shit that happens in there. And having your sensors be blocked is annoying if you are going for a teleporter strategy, which I might very well be. So we're going to go up top. That will let me get to a red zone. I do prefer the red zones. I believe I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the rewards are better. Now you might notice I'm not buying another battery. And the reason for that is at this point, I actually would like to find a store. Uh, a good weapon would be nice. Another crew member would be nice. This is interesting. I actually, this is normally a very good event because it lets you get uh, fuel at the price of two scraps per one fuel, which is better than what stores offer. But right now, I already have a lot of fuel. I'm actually not even going to buy a single one. I'm going to just save all the scrap I can because every scrap counts when, you're, when you find a store that has a really good weapon in it. Got 10 scrap and a quest, which we'll get to, no problem. Let's see if we can jump some of these nebulas for a few extra markers. And by the way, you might be thinking, wait a minute, Boris, aren't you contradicting yourself? You keep jumping on these nebulas, but uh, then you say that you don't like the nebula zones. And that's true. I like a few nebulas for a few extra jumps. I don't want to deal with a whole bunch of nebulas. All right, so we do have a bit of a mixed bag here. We do get a reward for this, but there's intruders on board. There's no reward for that. All right, so there's the two guys there. This one's gonna be a little trickier. Are they gonna, are they gonna beat on my doors? They are. So it's a bit annoying, honestly. Uh, let me take a look. I don't need shields. Let me power up 
the med bay, of course. I might have to just suck it up and take one hull damage, I think. The finagling that it would take, that, it would, that would be required to prevent them from damaging a single system could put my crew in danger. Oh no, I got... interesting. My, actually, I did a very good job here thanks to the mantis. And the... alright, this actually works. So that guy in here ran away from this fight. I have to, you know what, I have to shoot. That was probably a mistake. My mantis is a little low. I'm gonna close the doors, though. I think this guy will die on entry. Are there still intruders? No, there aren't. Okay. So let's, um... Send... Everybody through. I just don't... I've had this happen before where, where one of my people dies walking through a deoxygenated room on the way to the med bay, but that's why I waited there for a little bit. And we're gonna heal them up. So now, I mean, you could definitely make some purchases if you wanted to on your ship. You could totally put on this heavy ion. It might be okay. I just really hate this. I would way rather have the one damage, one power ion that shoots faster so it's more in line with the lasers. And it does basically the same thing. Um, but I'm going to hang on to my scrap. I'm going to be a little, a little bit greedy. And I'm going to just look for a store. Going here is a mistake because I can't get out of there. Here is an interesting jump. I don't want to do that. I want to actually get out to the quest and I also want to see if I can stop by a store along the way. So I'm trying to do a lot. Wow, all right, I got a heavy laser mark one. This is interesting. It is a little bit faster than my starting lasers and it deals more damage. Now two damage is irrelevant if you hit a shield. Because whether you shoot a shield for one damage or shoot a shield for two damage with a laser, it still just pops the one shield. But this is actually probably better than having a basic laser. The, the only awkward thing, of course, is that it shoots it after nine seconds rather than after ten. So it fires first, meaning it hits the shields first. So it's going to take some micromanaging to make it so that it hits last. I want it to hit last so that when it actually, so that these crappy ones break the shields and then this one is the one that actually damages the ship. But I think it's worth the micromanagement. So I am actually gonna equip it in place of one of my basic lasers. It's not like a super great find, but it is better than nothing. And I'm pretty happy that I'm finding all these free weapons and things. Okay, so these guys are charging up their FDL. All in all, it's a bit of an annoying one. I am gonna go ahead and do this because there's a, there's a missile here. And I definitely want to make sure that I go for the pilot first. I really, really, really... I don't, I'm not 100% sure that I can actually, like in the first zone, um, wait for it. I'm going to shoot two lasers at the weapons. Actually, no, I'm going to shoot the three basic lasers at the weapons, and I'm going to shoot my heavy laser at the pilot. And it, the heavy laser hit the pilot, which is good. So the sound enemy FDL is delayed. My basic lasers also hit the weapons. So I'm going to change my gear, my strategy a little bit. I need to actually turn off auto fire because it gets messed up with the heavy laser being one second faster. So I'm going to shoot the heavy laser at the engine as well. I think it made a breach. Let me just take a quick look. I'm going to run to the center sensors. I believe this is a new thing. If this is not a new thing in the advanced version, that means I'm very bad at this game because I thought that it was new and I don't remember this in the original game. But if you put somebody on the sensors or on the doors, it upgrades the system by one. Okay, so the missile is back, which is very annoying. I don't want it to hit me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send three lasers at the pilot. And then I'm going to send my heavy laser at the weapons. And the heavy laser should hit the weapon because the engine's busted, so the ev evasion should be zero. And it blew up anyway. All right, that's a pretty good reward. Let's heal my Zoltan. Another, another battery would definitely be convenient, but let's just see if we can find a store. There's two stores. This one, obviously, I'd have to jump back to the same place, so it's not ideal. Let's do some math here. Um... It'd be nice if this one could get to there. All right, we'll do one more jump, then go to the store, and then kind of, and then I'll be able to better estimate how fast that uh, rebel fleet is approaching. Okay, we're definitely going to defend the outpost. That's a given. Let's turn the oxygen back off. Hold your breath, guys. Uh, these weapons are not going to get through, so I actually don't care about their weapons. They do not get through two shields. 
And so what I care about is... I mean, I'm gonna turn auto fire on. We're just gonna target that, like that, yeah. Two lasers at the cloaking for convenience, one laser at this, and then one heavy laser at the piloting. And the heavy laser will hit first. That should get rid of all of the evasion. And then, um... Yeah. There we go. See, the shield came back to full before this ion could fire again. That's why it's just not that good. I'm enjoying this heavy laser, though. It's worth the micromanagement. And they help me out a lot. Great. So this is about as good as you could hope for. Let's jump to the store. See if they've got any goodies for me. Oh my god, my oxygen's down to 25%. Let's... Hang on a second. Let's, let's aerate my crew a little bit. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope. There we go. All right, we did not get the teleporter, unfortunately. Now, these are the two new systems. Mind control uh, is interesting. It, it lasts for quite a long time, and if you upgrade it, 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 it boosts the health and damage significantly of the enemy that you mind control. So what can this do? Well, if you have invaders, this makes it a lot easier to deal with them. By contrast, hacking doesn't really help with invaders. Um, it also can do interesting things on the enemy ship. So if you have a teleporter and you teleport your guys over, then you can mind control someone who's fighting against you and make them fight against the enemy team with, again, boosted health and damage. If you mind control the pilot, it reduces the evasion because the pilot's not providing a bonus. And if the pilot system isn't upgraded, then it will actually drop evasion to zero because there's no longer a pilot. So it does interesting things. Hacking we talked about before. All in all, hacking is a little bit better. It does cost the drone part, so you can kind of guess it's better, and it has more tactical options. It's also better, I believe, against the Federation ship, because, like, you can, for example, just, like, hack the Federation ship's engine, and then lower its evasion to zero, and then all your lasers are going to hit, so it's pretty darn solid. I don't want to buy it now, though. It's not that useful right now. I mean, you can hack, for example, the enemy weapons and not take some missile hits. Um, I'd way rather get a good weapon. Unfortunately, there isn't a good weapon here. So this thing is just pretty bad. It's three shots for three power. And the thing about that is that it does double damage on systemless rooms, but that's really just, I don't think has ever been a very good benefit, to be honest. I would way rather just have three shots for two power and a charge time of 12 seconds, you know, on the burst laser mark two. So this is kind of unfortunate. Here's a charge laser. So this one's a bit interesting. It's two power, and if you wait for uh, it to charge to 12 seconds, it'll fire two shots. Now, clearly that's just worse than the burst laser mark two, which fires three shots every 12 seconds. And there's the extra micromanagement of deciding whether to fire it every 12 seconds or firing it every six. So I'm not gonna get either of these weapons. It's not good enough. What I am gonna do is get the Jeff, Jeff here, my second Mantis, and that way, if I find a teleporter, I'm in business. I'm gonna get rid of these things. The fire drone, I might keep. I don't need the scrap now at any rate. What I am gonna do then is buy the scrap recovery arm just to get bonus scrap. Oh, does, shoot, should I have bought that first? Does it affect when you sell things? Whoops, I might have missed out on some scrap there. And I'm gonna hang on, Two, 22 fuel is gonna be enough for me to find another store, so that's good enough. So now I am gonna focus on my ship a little bit. Let's get a power bar here. And let me think, I'm gonna just save this in case I find another store soon. I have enough power for everything I need. And what that can let me do potentially is um, buy a teleporter if my next store has a teleporter. So now it's a top priority for me to get a teleporter, basically. All right, let's get the storage cache. These are not gonna get through my shields. So all I really care about is what? I guess hitting the pilot to reduce evasion, hitting shields for two damage with my heavy laser. Um, and then I guess hitting the engine. All right, one of my shots interacted with the ion. So that was kind of funny. Now, yeah, we'll just keep shooting where we've been shooting. Everything's fine. It's a pretty easy monster. 17 scrap and nothing. Damn. All right. So next up, let's go here so I can make sure I can finish the quest. Scrap recovery arm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's, that, that almost paid for the scrap recovery arm. Fantastic. All right. And now we're going to get the quest. 
Very nice reward. And this is close. I don't know if I could have made another marker. I wouldn't have risked it even if I could. I couldn't tell if it was going to work or not. Let's dock with the platform. This is the worst outcome. We have intruders and damage and no reward. Well, two NG aren't the scariest thing in the world. Thankfully, I do have two mantises. So let's get this fight going. With two mantises on my side and, and, and two NGs on his side doing only half combat damage, this should not be a problem. But I will park my Zoltan over here, just in case. Wow, how did this Mantis take such a beating against an NG? That is really bizarre, because the Mantis deals double damage, and the NG deals half damage. Let's go ahead and heal that guy, send a replacement in. Ooh, this guy's almost dead. Um. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, these guys are pretty healthy. I'm gonna... This Mantis, hey, you know, I'm gonna just... Okay, there we go. So I took some damage, and I got no reward. I think it's still worth it with those refueling platforms because sometimes you get free fuel, sometimes you get scrap. I think it's worth the risk. I mean, the damage means I lost some scrap, but I don't think it's the end of the world either. All right, let's um, send people back in here for healing. And oh yeah, I need to assign a station to my new mantis. We'll put them on the sensors until I have a teleporter. All right, yeah, I think it's a good thing I made it when I did. So coming out of Sector 2, we're in pretty good shape. I have tons of scrap. I'm ready to get a teleporter. I've got the same weapons I started with, but that's the nice thing about the red tail is that that is okay. And what I want to do now is just see as many beacons as possible because I want to find a store and see if I can get a teleporter. Um, all right, who do I want to attack? Doesn't look like the Mantis ship will last much longer. All right, we'll save the Mantis. All right, we've got a hacking coming my way. Let's see where it lands before deciding anything else. It landed on the doors, which is totally irrelevant. Now, these lasers are a problem. So I am going to need to uh, micromanage this to make sure that my heavy laser fires last and I disable these lasers. Okay, the heavy one hit. This thing is still potentially gonna deal a damage to me, but my lasers are already back online. Notice I'm firing the basic ones first, then the heavy lasers, so it lands last for that sweet, sweet extra damage. And I managed to do it before it screwed me up. I'm very lucky that the hacking went on doors instead of shields or weapons. <laughs> Obviously doors is not what I would have chosen. It's not really doing anything being on the doors. And that heavy laser, that extra damage has been kind of handy, I gotta say. I, I That was just a totally free thing I picked up. So I can't complain. Alright, there we go. So we managed to destroy it. Are we gonna get any good rewards? 23 and 28. Eh, that's pretty good. Double dipping on the rewards there. And there's a store. So let's get greedy. Let's jump to one more beacon and then the store. And have a shopping spree. Nothing happened. Alright. Well, let's go to the store. See what we got. Do you have a teleporter? You do not have a teleporter. You have drone control with the worst one ever. If this had like a defense drone coming with it, I might have gotten it. But as it is, I don't want any of these drones. I don't think I want mind control either. We have a good weapon here. Chain laser. This is a different type of chain laser. So... This one is interesting it okay so it starts off with a charge time of 16 seconds then when you fire it once it drops to like i forget like 12 seconds or something like that and then after you fire it again the recharge is only seven seconds and at that point it's very good it's uh every seconds you fire two lasers um i mean i could do that it would lower my overall power in the short term because I'd have to wait a whopping 16 seconds for my first volley. I'm not going to get it. This is just a shitty store, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I could get the drone system and use this fire drone that lights rooms on fire. So if I get rid of all the shields and then light room was on fire. All right, we'll try it. The, the drone control will be handy later if I can find a defense drone. So let's do this now. 
this system repair thing is, I mean, 15 scrap, I guess, doesn't do anything, so I guess I might as well just hang on to it, but it's total garbage. Let's actually upgrade this so that I can use my fire drone, maybe. Um, and then, other than that, what do I want? Well, at this point, I can get the extra shields. I don't have the power to actually use them yet. So let's get... Couple of power bars. Hang on to 70 scrap in case I do find another store. I could potentially buy a teleporter at that, scr uh, that store. I'm gonna, I was going to try to have at least 90 scrap so I can get a teleporter if I find it. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Hmm. This is a little bit of a gamble. Well, I'm not going to do it. I mean, you might get something. Uh, but... The risk of getting a shitty weapon. Well, you know what? I can always sell it off. Let's try it. Let's let's roll the dice. Chain Vulcan. What are you? Ah, uh, this thing is actually pretty good. So it only has a charge time of 11 seconds up front, which isn't that bad. Um, but then it only fires one shot. It, however, after that, its charge time decreases till eventually, well, you're going to notice if you look to the right-hand side, the chain charge cap is 1.1, meaning it fires every second. So, um, that is actually pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to equip it. Well, hang on a second. I don't need to do this right now. What I can do is I can basically use all four of my weapon slots on that thing. The problem is then you're vulnerable if, you know you get hit in your weapons, then everything kind of starts over. But uh, that is something I'll keep in mind. I'm, that, might, that might actually be like um, something I do in, in, the, in, the, in the near future if I, after I can upgrade my weapon systems. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to try to upgrade my shields next. I need another 80 scrap for that. Ooh, 25 free scrap. Thank you. Um, oh, I can't actually jump down from that. Um, but yeah, we can play Ring Around the Rosie here and be flexible. Another blank spot. Yeah, so I might end up using that Chain Vulcan laser later on. So what do we got here? Um, we can take it 27 scrap for 7 drone parts, which is not a very good trade. Let's ask about the translation device. I don't even know what the hell this does. Oh, I see. It's a crew member. So I bought a Lanius for 40 scrap, basically, which is not that great. I mean, it's a little bit of a discount compared to buying them at the store. Uh, all right, so I, I, I spent a bunch of my scraps, and now I can't get a teleporter or a shield. I'm running a little bit low on fuel now, so at my next store, I will need to uh, buy fuel. Oh, hey, the Lanius actually helps here. Um, well, I am going to give you guys missiles, because I don't use those. I'm going to get an augment, which I'm not that keen about, but I can always sell it. All right, so there's that. And I don't think I can do more than one more jump, so let's do one more jump, fight a ship, and then go to the exit. All right, oh, these Lanius are not friendly. So that's a hacking drone. It goes on my scanners, which I don't care about. So I basically want to shoot out their weapons first because they've got two missiles and I did not get a defense drone. I'm going to shoot my heavy laser last. Okay, could have, been, could have been worse. It got my drones, which I'm not using, and it did some damage. But it could have been worse. That's a shitty surrender, so no. Are they going to try to run away is the question. Ah, uh, the, the missile's back. All right, I'll shoot three shots at here, and then I'm going to shoot my heavy laser at the pilot just in case. Uh-oh. Well, that was a lot of missing. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to take another missile hit on my ship then. Yeah, got, the, got the piloting, though, so now I just need one more hit, and they're dead. Please don't miss. Okay, good. The pilot was down, so they had zero evasion, so I got it with three shots. A little bit, little bit of hairy. A little bit of a hairy one there. Now, the Lanius, by the way, if you don't know, this is a very weird alien. They drain oxygen from rooms, and they move slowly. So they don't have a combat boost in exchange for their slow movement, 
but they don't require oxygen to survive, which is very interesting. So they can do things like fight in a non-aerated room. They can, um, you can even teleport them onto the automated ships and um, like have them contribute to some of the damage. So they're kind of interesting, but you, they're also a little bit of a liability because they do drain oxygen from the rooms that they're in, so you have to be careful with your own crew uh, and, and how they interact with Elenius. Not something you get to have very often. The, they're the new alien from the advanced edition. All right, so let's go for the rebel ship. Ah, fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. That shouldn't matter, though, because we're about to jump away from here. That's fine. Let's take a look here. Okay, we don't have to worry. They don't, uh, the, I think this thing, does this thing fire twice? I can never quite tell with these lasers. I think that thing fires twice. But it would have to be in sync with the beam, so I'm not that concerned. What I'm going to do, then, is I'm going to send, I guess, three of my lasers against the weapons. And then the heavy laser, I'm gonna shoot at the pilot to try to lower the evasion for future shots. Well, that one missed, but I did get one hit on the weapon, which is nice because that's gonna um, st stop me for sure from taking any damage. And now I got the pilot for two. I like having somebody on the scanners because every now and then you can get a little bit lucky and like actually kill the crew like, the, if the fire gets out of control or something like that, you know? Before the ship is damaged. Like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to hedge my bets and have this work out. Alright, so they're fixing the med bay, which is broke. Yeah, no. They, they all got very close to damaged. But they got the med bay back up. Um, I don't think this fire is going to rage out of control, so I'm just going to finish them off. Uh, yeah, that's a shitty surrender. So you're going to die. And get... Much better rewards. Excellent. Yeah, so it doubles their jump, but that's not a big deal. And now we're here. So now at this point, I do need to get my third shield. This is a rule of thumb. It's not like a iron law of math, but it's the rule of three. So you want to get up to two shields in the first sector, and then you want to get an additional shield every three sector after that. So in sector four, you want to get your third shield, and by sector seven, you want to try to get your uh, fourth. I do want to fan out a little bit, even though I'm going to have to spend my scrap getting my third shield because I want to find a store for the purpose of um, getting more fuel. Since I got a very nice batch of fuel early on, I ended up going through it all and not finding more. All right, so we have an NG, no, just a single Mantis coming in. All right, I'm gonna go just, oh yeah, I have another Mantis here. I'm just gonna fight two Mantises versus this one. I want to try to kill it before its teleporter comes back on which I think there's a pretty good chance of. These lasers, I think these are the ones that fire twice. So I do need to hit their weapons once here. Okay, there. So we killed their mantis before it could uh, teleport back. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill these guys with fire because the NG can repair things really fast. Oh, missed the pilot, unfortunately. There we go. Started a fire. So the weapons are down. I am gonna just gonna shoot this while they're here. And deal some more damage to them. Ah, uh, yeah, the ship just doesn't have enough hull strength to, for me to kill these guys with my laser shots. I could have done something wacky, like I could have used my fire drone to set fires to the ship. Ooh, Ion Intruder Drone, what is that? Breaches through enemy hull and randomly ionizes systems. That's kind of a nifty one. So it doesn't hurt the enemies, but it ionizes systems and then it also stuns people that try to get in its way. Okay, I am not gonna dick around, we're gonna get our third shield. Let's get rid of the bar there. So everything's powered up. I have three shields. Looking good. There's still a chance that I can find a store, and I do want to because I want to get more fuel at the very least. Whether I can um, get a crew teleporter is uncertain. Oh, this is all fucked up. I didn't, I didn't send everybody back to their stations. 
Okay. Um, do I need to get rid of these weapons? I think these lasers, the ones with the red, I think are the ones that... I can't never tell. There's, there's one laser that's one power and fires twice. And there's one that's one power and fires once. And this one looks like it fires twice. It's got like a longer red. So I'm just going to send everything at the weapons. Okay, luckily the last thing to hit was the ion. Which is, which is good. So I didn't take any permanent damage that way, but I still would like to do some damage to their weapon system. Mm, three shields, that is tough. Okay, so it's a tough situation because I have to get through three shields. I'm gonna go for the pilot system. If, if one shot gets through, I want it to lower the evasion so that future shots will be more likely to get through. I am risking it a little bit because they do, yeah, this thing does fire twice, so this these guys do have the power to potentially get through and deal some damage. All right, there we go. Got the pilot. So what I'm gonna do is, because their odds of getting through are relatively low, I am going to hit the pilot again just to keep the evasion down. And I'm hoping that if I deal enough damage to this NG, who is repairing this thing so damn fast, that he will give up on repairing and instead go get healed in the med bay. That guy is just determined to put out that fire though. All right, there we go. So now their evasion's nothing and I guess my next shot, are they gonna go try to put out this fire? Yeah. I'll just keep shooting at this place. Ooh, the fire spread to the med bay. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think, however, I can just kill them because every time a system dies, it, the ship takes a damage. So once two systems... Yeah, no, we just need to finish them off. Kablorp. Uh, I need to turn my oxygen back on. And I need to heal my weapon master. I also need to send people back to their stations. All right, if I was really min-maxing this, I would wait for the oxygen to go back all the way up to full, but I'm not gonna deal with it. Well, these long range scanners are handy. So we have electromagnetic forces. This is a new thing in the advanced edition where every now and then there's, the, there's an ion pulse that randomly gets rid of certain systems. All in all, it's probably not, a, not as annoying as having your ship catch fire, but I'm gonna avoid it because it can definitely screw you up and I just don't see a point in taking a risk. I would also like to find the, um, store faster because eight fuel I need to I need to I need to I need to get get to the bottom of that problem this time these weapons definitely can't get through so I could try to do some fancy shenanigans and kill the crew but it's just not gonna be easy enough there's a clone bay so the clone bay is a new system it replaces the med bay what it does is it makes it so that you, there's no way to heal yourself but uh, after dying, after a, short, after a short time, you just respawn in the clone bay. Well, I just shot the clone bay to death. So, I don't know, maybe I can kill them? Let me see, I might be able to... Let me think about this. Because if I, if I can kill the crew, that's, that's obviously nice. It gives me better rewards. Let me, in the meantime, heal my people who need healing and make sure that my shields stay powered. So yeah, this fire starting to spread. Repairing this isn't gonna help because if the if the thing is depowered at the moment that someone dies, then they don't get to come back. So I'm gonna let them fix it and hope that the fire spreads in the meantime. The fire is now destroying the oxygen system which means that there's no more oxygen on the ship. So they have to put out this fire on the oxygen area. And this guy might not be able to do it. So that's the problem with the clone bay as compared to the med bay, is that the clone bay doesn't let you heal anybody. Well, with, with the clone bay, I should mention that everybody does heal automatically um, whenever you jump a little bit. Not not to full, but, but a little bit. So I'm gonna let that fire spread because there's actually a chance that they're both gonna die to the fire. If three more systems, if yeah, if, if three more system, oh yeah, the oxygen's gone too, right? They're gonna start um, taking damage due to there not being any oxygen. Um, 
If two more systems take damage, the ship will explode, unfortunately. But the fire would have to spread to two different places and destroy those systems before um, that happens. Oh yeah, there's no oxygen on the ship, so everything should eventually become deoxygenated. And they can't fix the oxygen because there's no oxygen in the oxygen. Yeah, I, this is a little bit weird. I know, I don't know exactly like how much more value there is um, from killing all the crew as opposed to just destroying the ship. But I think that this is worth it. Wait a minute, but okay, so they're gonna, I guess they're gonna come back from the, uh, I guess I'll shoot this thing one time. Oh shit, so this thing has, it was upgraded at a level of two. So did they actually come back, are they gonna keep coming back forever? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, that stupid clone bay saves their asses. Because it dies, but then it's gonna come back. And I guess the NG might be able to fix the oxygen before dying out of deox dying of deoxygenation. I've never actually seen this situation before. Are they just gonna- this is like some weird like... <laughs> hell. Living hell where you just keep dying and... Oh, they fixed the oxygen enough. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. Sorry about that. I thought I could do it, but I guess, it, yeah. Anyway, uh, that happened. Now I need to find a store. There is, oh geez, there is no store that I can see. Let's get this distress, I guess. Um, but I need to find a store here pretty soon or else I'm gonna run out of fuel. I'm not gonna do this because I can lose crew members that way. Still no store in sight. Let's jump there. All right, it's another one of these. This is actually the same exact ship, different weapons. In fact, these weapons are more threatening. So I'm gonna have to take them out, or try to at least. And I'm gonna shoot my heavy laser last so that it does the most damage. Okay, so that handles that. These weapons are gonna get fixed by this NG, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna just shoot this again. Again, staggering so that the heavy laser lands last. It seems like the piloting is not that good. Uh, this, I, like all my lasers have been hitting. Okay, there we go. Glad that, glad I uttered those words out loud. Um, okay, I'll hedge my bets. We'll shoot three lasers there and I'm gonna shoot a heavy laser at the pilot. There we go, that should drop the evasion. And I'm not gonna try this sh shit again. We're just gonna do the thing. Blorp. Ooh, a hull... Uh, well, uh, okay, so beam weapons, you know, I'm always so tempted, but we've already got the Vulcan, which is gonna be a fine endgame weapon. I don't really want to go for a beam strategy. Beam strategy is good if you use ion weapons to permanently keep shields down. Lasers, of course, can take shields down for a bit, and then you can shoot a beam, but I just really don't want to deal with that, so we're just gonna sell that off. If we can find a store, yes, it's a store! Oh, goody goody. Let's jump here and then jump down to the store and then buy fuel. And hopefully a teleporter. Come on. Uh oh. I might. I, I should have looked at that a little bit more carefully. Teleporter? Oh, God damn it, no teleporter. Um. Well. Don't have a defense drone either. I mean, boarding drones are fun, and you can dick around, and the shield, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna deal with it. Let's just get all the fuel that's here. Let's repair up to the green zone. Let's get rid of the hull beam. And I guess I'm not gonna keep system repair, it's just shitty. So that's that. Ah, that was disappointing. I could get mind control or hacking. Um... Because I do have a lot of drone parts, so I could start using hacking now to like lower the ship's evasion to zero and have all my lasers get through. That's a possibility. Mind control is fun later on if I get a teleporter, but I seem to not be able to find a teleporter, even though my life depends on it. Yeah, let's do hacking. Get that going. And then now, I'm um, just going to keep it simple. Let's just get a bunch of power bars so we can power everything up and have some power bars to take away if I want to use one of these drones. This is near a sun, which is annoying, but I've got somebody on the door so I can put out the fires. Oh, hey, I don't even get any rewards. 
How lovely. Alright, so NG, I think, can go there to be like an extra killer. And then my two Mantises can go head to head. I get some dudes. Okay, let's get you healed up. I guess I'll get you guys healed up as well. Because my other people are at full strength. Alright, I'm gonna wait until the flare is just about to in just about to come in. And then I'm gonna jump. I wanna try to heal up as much as possible before jumping. There. Okay. So I can do another jump. This is actually gonna work out pretty nicely. Ah, I can repair some damage. Well, this is very cheap repairs, so sure, we'll do it. The nice thing about that is that now I am sitting pretty, so I can just heal up my weapon man, Weston. Okay, everybody's in their places. And we jump. So it's a bit, been a bit frustrating. I've seen a lot of stores. I've still not seen a single teleporter. Um, but, you know, there's still time to find it. Both of these are abandoned sectors, which I believe are Lanius areas. At this point, I'm just trying to get some scrap. I will eventually need 180 scrap to get my last shield. I'm only in sector five though, so I don't really feel the pressure to do that until sector seven. What do I want to do here? I just want to collect some scrap and then I want to find a store. So I can do this, which is a guaranteed fight, then jump up here, jump up here, and jump here and see a bunch of the beacons. Or I can get here sooner. Yeah, this lets me see more beacons if I go down. So even though there is a guaranteed fight, I do want to find a store soon. I'm already back down to six fuel. God, these intruders fights. Oh, I could do without them. All right, the way I want to do it, I guess, is have the man... This is actually the exact same thing. Oh, no, they all went into the same room. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, uh, how do we want to do this? I suppose... Let's put my people on hand here. I don't want to use the Lanius because that would drain the oxygen and hurt my own people as well as hurting the enemy people. And let's get the NG out of here and put the Zoltan in place. Right, so thankfully, with my Mantis that I purchased, I do a pretty good job of dealing with these intruders. It just sucks that I don't get any reward for it. I don't actually have the scrap to buy a teleporter at the moment. And I... I could sell off these drones. I'm not that attached to them. So, that's a possibility. Let's go ahead and send my damaged people to the med bay. So yeah, I'd like to get back up to 90 scrap, find a teleporter. I actually need to get more than 90 scrap because I really want to also get some fuel, obviously. Hmm. It's a bit annoying. There's a store. Shit, so I'm not going to get to buy a teleporter at this store. I can only get fuel there. Oh, hilarious. Well, let's see. If we attack the pirate, maybe we'll be able to, uh, you know, do some stuff here. What do you got here? Got a... This is... I can't remember. I think this is a glive beam. I can't... I can't forget if this is a glive beam or a halberd beam, which makes a bit of a difference. Honestly. The glive beam does three damage, so it gets through two shields. The halberd beam only gets through one. Alright, it's a human and a rock doing this. Well, I don't have a teleporter, so my mantises might as well do the fighting. Um, and I guess I should probably put the NG in here for some extra damage. Okay, so, oh shoot, my weapon's charged. Let's just shoot at the weapons, keep this real simple. And miss! Alright, I had all my shields up at the time, so I can't tell if that was... Uh, a halberd or a glide beam. Let's try this one more time. Oh my god. Alright. Let's just not dick around. I'm gonna shoot a hacking drone. That's a pilot. Um, with all these intruders and shit coming in, I just don't wanna have to deal with crap. Uh, okay. So, my hacking is at level 1, so it only does it for 4 seconds, but that's enough to get these weapons turned off. So it keeps on sitting there, the doors are blocked, and then it takes a long time to recharge, but the damage was done, the weapons are now on fire. Ooh, and because of the layout, they actually have a bit of a tough time. That's kind of awesome. That because of the layout, they have a tough time getting into this weapon room to fix it. Come on, there we go, there's another hit. So now the weapons are totally down, that's lovely. 
the rocks do not take damage from the uh, fire, but they still need time to put the fire out. And now, now I'm in good shape, because now the piloting is gone, so there should be no evasion. So I can just keep attacking the weapons. I'm not going to try to kill them by some fancy means. We're just going to keep on attacking the weapons. Oop, I have another laser to shoot. Alright, why is there no oxygen in this room? That's kind of weird. Oh, is the Lanius? That's, that's Lanius, right? I don't really understand what happened there, but whatever. There's no evasion, so they're dead. Alright, that went pretty well. Unfortunately, the civilian ship bailed before it could give me a reward, which means I'm not going to be able to afford a teleporter at the store. Um, let's get greedy. Let's do one more fight before going to the store. I gotta really go for it. Alright, so that's a fight. What do we got? Another one of these beams. Ah, I couldn't- I never figured out if this was a glive beam or the halberd beam. Crap. I really, I really should know that by now. Uh, there's three shields here, and I only have five laser shots. Uh, I need to get my chain Vulcan thing online. Um, okay, so we're gonna use another drone part. I do have a bunch of these. I'm gonna shoot it at the... Actually, let me think. What do I want to shoot it at? I could shoot it at the pilot or at the engine. The pilot is actually more in the way. So let's go ahead and shoot it at the pilot. Either the pilot or the engine will block all the evasion down to zero. So let's do this. And what next? Let's shoot the weapons down first. Notice everything hits because the evasion was down to zero. And I don't think the pilot can actually man the piloting system either. So I should be hitting more now. Nope, nope, okay. Guess not. Or maybe the ship has autopiloting, so it just did better. Boom. Alright, so that those weapons are gone. Nice. There is neither a weapon, sorry, not, neither a med bay nor a cloning thing on this ship. So now I'm gonna pop my hacker again, and then with evasion at zero, shoot these weapons dead. Oh, uh, did that breach the hull? That's good, I think it breached the hull, which is very nice. So now they have to fix that breach where they can fix the weapons. And if I can get one more hit through here, nope. I could have killed that slug. As it is, let's just have to wait for my hacking thing to go back down to zero. You'll notice the hacking thing is making a difference, because without that, this would be quite the grind. Apparently, this ship has very good evasion. Alright, now what I'm going to do is hack and shoot the engines. I'll get... Well, it's only the heavy laser that actually hits. The first three lasers shoot away the shields, and then the heavy laser lands. Now, I'm going to do one more time on the weapons. Kills the slug who was repairing the weapons, slows the weapons return, and then like, although it may take a while, slow and steady will win the race. My primary problem is that although the heavy laser does two damage, it's only one laser, so all four shots have to hit in order to get through these shields, which is obviously rather unlikely. But the hacking is back online now, and... Because of the loadout that this ship has, they just can't. Ooh, uh, I don't want five missiles though, no. They just can't fix the weapons fast enough before my hacking gets back online. Yeah, so at this point in the game, it's starting to become a little bit of a problem if you only shoot four laser shots. But notice, we're like in sector five when this happens. You know. It's, 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 I had, a, I had a long time to improve my weapons. Well, I'm glad I bought hacking. I, I don't know how well I would have been able to win this fight if I didn't have the hacking capability to just lower the evasion to zero and get all my lasers to get through. So it's been a bit of a slow process and maybe also a little bit of a wake-up call that I need to get a bit of a move on and find some better weapons or get my chain Vulcan online. Yeah, that's what I should do next. I mean, it sucks because I really do want to get a teleporter and I will buy a teleporter if the store I'm about to find has one. But, um, 
after that, I need to improve my, my, open, my open system, so I've got that chain Vulcan laser going. There it is! All right. Let's finally get that shit on the road. Don't want any of these. Don't want the sign blast. It's too late for that. Don't want to sell anything if I don't have to. So let's get some fuel with the rest of my scrap. And reposition. So what do I care more about? The blast doors are having sensors. Well, obviously for teleporting, I want to have sensors so I can see what's in the ship. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. Do I want to invite somebody to join my crew? Sure. Got Charlie. Well, another NG isn't the best, or NG, but at least it puts somebody on the doors. Uh, I don't want to do this. Anti-ship batteries? A oh, fuck no. Definitely don't want any of that shit in my life. Well, thank you, long, long range scanners. You saved me from a very annoying fight. All right, so this is a pretty big ass weapon. It fires five laser shots. This thing fires one laser shot. Uh, this is a defense drone, so it shoots down hacking. All right, well, the good news is this enemy ship does not have a med bay or a cloning bay, so all I have to do is just slowly but surely beat these people up, and that'll do it. I guess I might as well take pot shots at the weapon system. But, yeah, you can use kind of an integrated strategy with the red tail. So, like, when uh, you, you can kill a ship with your, with your teleporter crew, you do that. And when it's not convenient, you know, you just use your weapons to defeat them. But in this particular case, with neither a med bay nor a cloning bay... It really doesn't make any sense for me to not enjoy the use of the teleporter. So they're fixing up the weapons, which is fine. That's their prerogative. Their ship has zero evasion, so even with only four lasers, I can get through. And, uh, yeah, let's just, once my teleporter comes back, send, send, the, send the Mantis back in to finish the job. Ooh, an anti-personnel drone. That can be very handy in the final fight, actually. Uh, for one of the in incarnations of the boss, if you don't have an anti, if you, don't, if you don't have a defense drone to block the drones that they shoot at you, that then go around wandering your ship and beating stuff up, it, it, it's very handy to have that anti-personnel. Let me take a quick look here. Um, yeah, I am going to put this on, because I think I'm more likely to use it in a fight than this intruder that goes on the enemy ship and ionizes random stuff. Okay, so that was pretty good. Uh, there's a distress, there's another ship here. Let's do another battle. Okay, what kind of a thing are we looking at here? Well, this is quite the varied crew. There is a cloning bay, so that needs to be off when um, I kill somebody in order for them to stay dead. And they have three shields and their weapons will get through for no other reason than they, that they do have a missile. So, yeah, it's not the greatest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this on the pilot. So, wait, did they hack my hacking? No, they hacked my sensors. Okay, got it. thought they hacked my hacking. All right, so we're going to trap the, the rock in there. And I guess I'm going to also teleport my mantises into the missile room. This is a bit of a risk. They can definitely get hurt here. But I really want to um, reduce the charge on the weapons. Notice, by the way, that was actually really handy that uh, this the rock man was trapped in there because of my hacking drone. So now the ship has no evasion. There is a fire in my ship taking over the shield. So do I want to put the fire out by aerating the room or having the NG come in and fight it? Let's go ahead and have the NG come in and fight it. I'm gonna have my weapon person come in and fight it as well. Um, my mantises need to be extracted from here, I th think. Uh, nah, she's still doing all right. Who's, who's just beeping at me? Oh, Caldwell? Okay, that's fine. All right, Caldwell, go heal yourself up. So, 
what I'm gonna do next is extract my mantises, and while this ship still has zero evasion, shoot at the weapon systems, because those are getting through. Okay, now my mantises need to get healed. I'm gonna put my weapon guy back on weapons. Um, all right, how do we do this? I think I'm gonna just shoot it, keep shooting at the weapons. There's still zero evasion for the time being. And if the pilot does get fixed, then I have a hacking drone still in place. Okay. Um, I'm ready to go back in for, I might actually be able to win this with my mantises. This is a bit of a risk jumping into the room that you have hacked because if you need to get out of it, you can't. But I've killed off some of their crew. All right, so they're powering up the FDL, which is obviously not a thing because uh, their pilot is totally destroyed. And yeah, everybody, oh fuck, I forgot about the, fuck, oh god damn it, shit. I forgot about the stupid cloning bay. Okay, it could have been worse. The Zoltan has low health, so two mantises will kill it in high style, and I believe that's everybody. With the cloning bay gone, we're good to go. That was a bit messy. I should have I should have absolutely taken out the cloning bay earlier. But my ship didn't take that much damage. I think the extra scrap I got from taking the ship whole will probably pay for the repairs, maybe, I hope, possibly. Um, I got the crew teleporter, and this is at a key the word a key moment of the game. You have to realize when you need to stop going for things in the store and when you need to start just upgrading your actual ship systems. I need to upgrade my weapon systems now um, because I need to get this chain Vulcan going. Um, I could do it now and have it and the heavy laser. Just the two of them. Uh, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that a little bit. All right, we got another distress here. So let's go check out the distress. Leave the rock men to their fate. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll attack the Lanius. Oh, that was a mistake. That was an absolute mistake. The reason for that was a mistake is that uh, the Lanius ship has no oxygen, so I cannot, uh, um, yeah, because it has no oxygen, I can't actually, like, teleport my people onto it. I'm gonna let my doors get busted and take a hull damage. I, I just don't think it's uh, enough of a priority. Oh geez, they really have some significant ass weapon power. All right, we're gonna do the usual trick then. Hacking on the pilot. And, oh, they don't have any shields. Ah, that's what they don't have. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my three basic lasers at their weapon systems and then my heavy laser at their cloaking. And I forgot to activate my hacker. Whoops. Okay, well, let's go ahead and fix the doors. And I'm gonna send my mantises to actually help fix the shields. Actually, the NG should help fix the shields. Well, these shields, I want them back online as soon as possible. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Uh, the mind control is very annoying. You have to be very careful not to let either the person who is being mind controlled uh, destroy your other people. Fuck, I actually should just, I want to get rid of that mind control. Oh, these, okay, so let's turn off the evasion. I'm going to send a couple of things at the weapons. One thing at the mind control and one thing at the cloak. Okay. So now we can fix the shields. Yeah, there's this Lanius person. <sighs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna try to get my Mantis healed up. Oh, there's two of them? Where did they come from? Oh, fuck, ah, oh, Jesus. All right, uh, what do I do, what do I do? Um, I guess I should just shoot at the pilot. I need to heal these people up. And do I let them destroy my teleporter is the question. Oh man, this zone has no oxygen in it. All right, I'll take a little bit of a risk. Let's send the NG in here. Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? 
I should send my Lanius in there. Okay, let them destroy the teleporter, which sucks, but the Lanius, my fellow Lanius, does not need oxygen. So it can just fight and then fix that zone, no problem. Now their thing is gone. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna just shoot out the engine next. All right, that thing, it could have gone better. Oh, they didn't even give me anything. Those assholes. Yeah, I should have fought the Rockman so I could have used my teleporter. Yeah, now that I am teleporter ready, I need to actually take advantage of it. Oh, crap. This zone has no oxygen in it because the, my, my own Lanius was in there. Okay. Let's heal up. Okay, can we send everybody back to stations, please? Okay. I can get another weapon. I'm gonna have to go all the way up to eight weapon systems. No, not eight, I need to go up to seven. Seven systems is all I need. And here we go, we're gonna play our last ring around the Rosie and jump to the exit. Shooters on board with no rewards. Just what I love to see. All right, well, let's uh, send the mantises over, I guess. I might as well put my Zoltan on tap here. In case that's necessary. Hmm. Okay, my mantises are shockingly not doing as well as I would have hoped. Oh, interesting, they're letting, they're letting themselves get pounded just to fire at the doors. Oh my god, why is my oxygen not powered up? Oh geez. Alright, I said to be very careful not to um, send people through when it's deoxygenated. Okay. You're ready. You need healing. And, well, things could be going better. I would like to have more scrap at this point. I'm gonna have to buy fuel at my next store. I'm not 100% sure if the Vulcan and three crappy lasers are enough against the final boss. Oh, there's a store, but I can't get to the exit from that store, so I'm gonna have to pass it by, which is fine because I didn't have that much scrap anyway. Oh, uh, God. Okay, refueling platform. Well, let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, hey, good thing I hailed it because apparently it wasn't a real platform. Well, I am gonna just use a drone part because I got 17 of these damn things. Wait, they hacked my hacking? Ah, oh, jeez, that's annoying. Well, hopefully... Oh, I have to launch a hacking drone? You assholes! Oh, seriously? Well, let's see what happens if I just shoot lasers at it. How good is their evasion? Um... Well... well how much does this thing shoot? Is this one of the ones that shoots five shots? Oh, it missed, and it does shoot five. Okay, it could have been worse. Come on, get through, get through. There we go, there we go. Okay, now we're fine. Now the pilot is not man, which does not mean its evasion is zero, but it does mean that its evasion is lowered. Now, interestingly, I might actually be able to kill them if my heavy laser hits right now. Ah, awesome. And I get four fuel. Oh, lovely. Well, that couldn't have gone any better. Well, it would have gone... Uh, no, it could have. It could have gone better if I uh, hadn't taken any damage. I'm down to half strength on my hull, so my next store I find I will have to spend some scrap to repair. But... Could... Okay, God, so many Lanius in this abandoned sector. All right, this is good though. This is a good, good situation. There's no med bay, and there is also no cloning bay. The weapons are crazy though. So I think what I'm gonna do, oh, I should have shot the hacking thing first and trapped the Lanius pilot in there. What I'm gonna do instead is, nah, let's, let's shoot, let's stick to the plan. Let's uh, lower their evasion so that all my weapons hit and then I can do a pretty good job taking out their weapons. There. So the question is, can my mantis survive in a deoxygenated room against that Lanius? Ah, oh, I can, and that was a really good set of rewards too. 
Right, so that was a time where it was actually very good to have the teleporter. Defeating that ship raw would have actually caused me to take more damage than just teleporting my way to victory. Okay, so let's get out of here. I don't want to go to the nebula because I definitely want to be able to use my sensors to see what's in the enemy ship when I'm using a teleporting strategy. This is Sector 6. It's not still it's still not crucial right away to get my next shield. So I'm actually going to get my... Well, yeah, I don't care about stores at this point. I just want to get my shit together. So let's put on the Vulcan. And now I should be able to power everything up. Oh, I need more battery power. Hmm, let's get rid of that. And I guess we'll take that off. So I, still, I have three lasers I can shoot. And then, of course, this one which gets to be very, very fast, and can, I can just use auto-fire and have it shoot enemy ships down all by itself. Okay, uh, let's go to the Distress. It's a little bit more of a, in an open area, so I'm more likely to find a store. Uh, drone or the NG? Well, I don't want another NG because I'm already at maximum crew, so we'll save rather heartlessly the drone schematic. Which means I just get some scrap, hull repair. I still cannot find a defense drone to save my life. Hilariously. All right, there's two stores here. Can I get to both of them? Yes. Do I need to get to both of them? Well, what do I really want? I've already got all my systems, so I can't, like, get mind control or anything. I guess I want a defense drone. A defense drone, Mark 1, would be really good to have. So we'll do this, then go to the store, then do this and this, and then just head towards the exit. That should take up all my time here. Ah, free scrap. All right, there's the store number one. At this store, I definitely don't want to take anything dodgy because I want to I want to be picky because there's going to be another store later. All right, there's some interesting stuff here. So the, um, let me sell some shit off here. Hull repair. Uh, interesting. That lets me essentially trade drone parts for hull, but I think I'd rather just get 42 scrap and spend that on repairs. And I just don't see myself using this thing. Okay, so let's get rid of all this stuff. Now, um... This is interesting because this helps against the final fight. And that's actually very handy. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. So that I can teleport past the uh Zoltan shield of the boss. Other than that, I have a defense drone Mark 1. I, I don't think the Mark 2 is worth it. It is only one more power and can shoot lasers, but the fact that it can shoot lasers down can actually be a liability because it uh, sometimes shoots a laser instead of shooting a missile. I mean, I think this actually got buffed. This used to be only... This used to be four power. Now it's only three, so that's actually very interesting. What is this thing? Oh, it's just a regular old thing. It's a missile. I don't think I'm going to need the missiles because I got my Vulcan laser and the fire beam. No. So... Yeah, let's get it just a regular Mark I. It's good enough for most applications. And everything's fine. We'll get a bunch of fuel as well. Oh, yeah, I can't have these both on. Hmm... I'm not gonna start fires on the enemy ship, so let's get rid of the fire thing. Okay, so that's pretty good, which means I can now, well, let's actually jump over here and see the other store, and then I'm gonna just buy a bunch of batteries and start upgrading my last systems. All right, what do we got here? We got a med bay, which is a problem, and a shit ton of weapons. This is a lot of shots. This is uh, eight, nine laser shots. Yeah, okay, well, that means let's temporarily take off the oxygen. I definitely want to be able to disable this weapon system. Oh, but I, I can't get through with these three lasers and it's got three shields. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, we're just gonna have to do the pilot for now. All right, so I'm actually kind of happy about the fact that they sent their people over because that means I could potentially kill them before they can get back. No, oh yeah, so my Vulcan got up to its first charge. For this, what do I want to destroy? I can only... Yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna have to go for the weapons on this. Because I think there's just a bit too much laser power there. I'm annoyed that these mantises are probably not gonna be able to kill these guys in time before the teleporter recharges. Okay, my Vulcan's back online. I guess for this one, do I want to let five shots go at me? No. I'm going to go for the weapons again. Oh, hey, I actually managed to kill those guys before their teleporter recharged. It must not have been a fully upgraded one. Okay, let's take a moment to reevaluate here. Now the Vulcan's getting pretty fast. 
I'm just gonna start shooting the Vulcan at the shields. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on auto fire and just start shooting the Vulcan at the shields. And wait for my mantises to heal, and when they heal, I'm gonna send them over to the enemy ship. I can kill this guy because he's trapped in the piloting room and he won't be able to go to the med bay. Yeah, that's how it's gonna have to be. Okay. I am gonna need to remember though, my Vulcan is firing, and that's tricky because if I forget about it, it, it will just destroy the enemy ship. Let's shoot a heavy laser into the med bay. So that guy doesn't heal. I want to make sure I don't blow this ship up when, um... Yeah, I'm going to turn off auto fire right now and, and cancel all my weapons. Because it's down to just two. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that worked out perfectly. It does take a little bit of micromanaging to play with this style. The advantage, of course, is that you get more scrap for your victories, and uh, the scrap will definitely all get used. Let's go to the store next, so I can repair now. And if they have a good weapon, I can get that as well. Uh, they don't have a good weapon. They have people, which I don't need. They have a defense room, which I don't need, because I already got it. I already got this thing. These things I already have. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of repair. I don't want to do too much, because in the final sector, you do get free repairs. Um, I can get more fuel. I'll find another store before I use up 16 fuel, though. So, yeah, we're good here. Got all my weapons. Um, yeah. It's time to just start upgrading my other stuff. So, what do I want in general? Eventually, I am going to want faster teleporters. It's really helpful for the final boss. Better hacking. Although, it's okay at level 1. I pretty much just need to use it for one volley to get through, and I'm fine. It's 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 just better upgraded against other applications. So like, against, for example, the weapon system or shields. It's very significant to have it go for an extra 6 seconds. But it's not crucial right now. These would be all nice to have. Some engines would be, would be nice to have. But my main priority, I think, is the faster teleporting and the, the hacking. So now let me think about my life. Uh, do I just want to get some more bars? I do need some bars. We're going to keep it simple. I'm just going to get four bars so I can power up all the stuff I have already. And then as I get more scrap, I'll start to think about how to uh, upgrade things in what order. Let's see, how, do, can we, how well can we play Ring Around the Rosie? Pretty well. All these connect to the exit. So we're just going to jump up there, fight this ship here and then get the distress signal. Mmm, it is not... Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh my god, that's... Yeah. So, these are... There's one that shoots lasers and takes your shields down, and these are these are beams. Actually, this looks really scary. It's not that bad. I'm gonna just... go ahead and put my Vulcan on the shields. I don't think the enemy can get through this. I'm just gonna start, this is a bit inefficient, but I'm gonna put everything on auto fire. I don't think the enemy can actually get through. And then my Vulcan will just eventually get to the point where it's shooting every single second, which is crazy. And then once it starts taking these shields down, I can just destroy the enemy ship with my lasers. All right, so the Vulcan's firing every second now. All right, now I'm gonna reposition my other lasers. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them onto the pilot so that uh, I can lower the evasion. Okay, that's gone. Now I'm gonna reposition them onto the drones because the drones are more dangerous. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, that looked really scary at the beginning with those three drones, but it was actually fine. Got another boarding drone, which I can sell at a store. There's a yet another store. Is this worth going to? Uh, when, I, when you go to a store, you pass on the chance of getting more scrap elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, a better weapon would be nice. Getting, like, a Burst Laser Mark II would still be a really nice advantage. Oh, hey, I can send my Battle Drone in to help against the spiders. That's convenient. So that was really nice. I get some free rewards, basically, for having that thing, even though I might never use it. Alright, let's inch closer to the exit. Nothing. Well, I'll fight a ship, then go to the store and see what happens. Okay, what do we got? We got a huge ass missile, a bomb, chain lasers, 
Lots of crew in a med bay, so it's a bit difficult to defeat this. I do, however, have a defense drone, which, should, which, I mean, sometimes a defense drone fails on you, but this should be able to shoot down these missiles, and I don't think the rest of the stuff can get through. With these bombs, I never know if it's the ones that do damage, or the ones that, um, or, or the ones that just damage systems, but, they're, but therefore don't actually do any damage. I don't know if it's going to damage my hull. I don't want to get hit by these bombs. Um, alright, well, might as well... Send these guys in. The question is, do I, I definitely want to use my hacking drone. Let's um, let's put the hacking drone there on the pilot. It blocks the doors so that my mantises can come in, and it takes time. Oh yeah, it's it's a fire starting bomb. Perfect. Uh, that doesn't do any damage, and I can just have my NG put out the fires. They're very good at repairing stuff. Oh yeah, why am I not shooting my weapons? Oh my god. <laughs> terrible at this game. All right, uh, let's have the Vulcan shoot at the med bay. Let's just have everything shoot at the med bay so that the enemy can't get healed. We're going to turn on my hacking drone. And now my mantises are going to shoot at, or are, are going to destroy the weapons gradually. And because of the ship's layout and my hacking drone being on the pilot, notice it's difficult for the enemy to get in. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I think I'm going to be okay here. Ah, okay, so the crew got into my mantises. I'm going to turn off auto fire for a second and just kind of see what's happening here. I'm going to keep the Vulcan on it. Can my mantises... Oh yeah, the doors came back. So guys, these guys tried to try to run back to the med bay. Man, that almost had like nothing even to do with uh, the hacking itself, but just the, the door blockage was so convenient there. Alright, I'm gonna see if I'm, how these mantises can do, because these are NG, so even though my mantises are a little bit damaged, the NG only deal half damage in combat. Oh my god, that hacking drone was just the MVP there. By blocking the weapon room, the hacking drone uh, made that fight very easy. Huh, okay. Okay. Well, that was good. Got a bunch of scrap. Now, we're going to a store so it's safe, so I can just jump there. At least, I haven't ever seen a store that was dangerous. That would be pretty funny if that did happen. That'd be a nice little twist. Alright, uh, boarding drone, I already... Hmm... These things are never as good as you think. I mean, it, it is nice to combo with your t uh, teleportation strategy to have the boarding drone elsewhere distracting the enemy crew. But I'd way rather have the anti-personnel drone because not only does it use less power, but it also uh, helps on my ship so I can have people go over and still have an anti-personnel thing on my end. Let's get some fuel, and I guess that's all I want to do here then. So now I'm ready to continue upgrading shit. Let's think... Okay, I'm definitely going to want four shields at some point. So let's start that now, and then after that we can upgrade the teleporter and the and the hacking and all this stuff and see how much I can get. I did get that uh, recovery arm earlier, which is really nice, because that means I've been getting more scrap this whole time, and that, that'll give me some more flexibility. Yeah, that's not a good trade. Giving up three fuel for three drone parts, I probably... I'm not even going to have 18 more fights, so I don't think I'm going to be able to... Uh, use up all the drone parts anyways. I mean, if I hack and do these drones, I guess, but it seems unlikely. Do I want to keep going to these stores? I mean, I still would like to find a better weapon. So yeah, I think it's worth it, but it's, it's, it's uh, I could definitely see an argument against it as well. So I'm not 100% sure I'm making the right decision with all these store jumps. Glive beam, tempting. I could combo it with the Vulcan, have the Vulcan be shooting all the shit. No, that's no. This is two shots for three power hate that and this is five shots for four power so it had to be this and the bulk and the vulcan no i'd rather keep it all split up so that doesn't make sense um these don't really do anything for me i'm gonna sell this and at some point you can sell your scrap recovery arm but i think i'm gonna hang on to that because i'm still gonna get enough value out of it let's get a few more let's just play it safe let's get all the fuel that's here and then keep on focusing on my ship so I can get my last shield. So now my shields are all there. I just need batteries, upgrade, hacking, and teleporting. And then everything else is kind of a nice to have. Nice to have more med bay. Nice to have more engine. Nice to have sensors and doors upgraded. But by having eight crew, I kind of 
replicate the value of having upgrades on my sensors and doors. Okay, so let's search for the ship and get a whole bunch of rewards. Jesus, that was pretty nice. And jump. Alright, so now I can actually teleport in thanks to my Zoltan bypass. Can I also hack? Let me think about this. I don't... Uh, is this, I think this is a halberd beam. Or that could be a glive beam. God damn it. These are Zoltans and Engies, so they're just like perfect for me to take out. Um... See, what should I shoot at? Um, probably. I should be shooting at the weapons. And I'm just gonna auto fire, although it is inefficient. And I definitely wanna use a hacking drone to help this it's in some way. So I can hack the drone control, which is worthless, just to stop the crew from being able to get to the pilot and attack the pilot. It's one idea. I can hack the weapons and just have the mantis go into the weapons. I'm gonna take a little bit of a long road. Oh, I see. Super Shield does prevent the hacking. It just lets you teleport in. Interesting. I'm not sure how much I can accomplish with a med bay there, but let's have the mantises go in, just because this way uh, the ship's evasion will be lowered since the pilot won't be piloting. Okay. So the guy's getting healed in the med bay. Which can't really stop. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send a hacking drone to the med bay. And then immediately use it. So they're getting da the, the the med bay disruption causes them to take damage instead of getting healed, and it blocks the door, so it turns the med bay against them, and it causes them to get hurt. I'm gonna turn everything onto the med bay now. All right, my mantis is starting to get hurt. Everything needs to go on the med bay. I need to be very careful not to blow up this ship, however. I'm not going to accept your offer. I'm going to stop and teleport my Mantis back. I'm going to undo all my weapon shots, teleport my Mantis. Okay, so what's happening here is that the guy is fixing the med bay. I can't disrupt it because it's damaged. The hacking does not work on a system that is broken. But as soon as it gets fixed by that NG, I'm going to turn on my hacking and he'll start to take damage and get locked in the room. So I might be able to win this fight without having to send my mantises back. Also, my mantises are healed. So once my teleporter finishes charging, I can also send them in. I think actually two mantises can defeat an NG, even when the NG is getting healed. Well, two mantises can defeat anything <laughs> through med bay healing, even while the person's getting healed. All right. All right, so we're up to 165. We got all the shields. Um, let's just... Um, I know this is not the most optimal way of doing it. I'm just going to get bars. And that way, uh, when I upgrade my system subsequently, I'll be able to use them right away. All right. Do you want to booby trap the cash? Uh, let's just take it. Oh, hey, more scrap. Perfect. So... Oh yeah, I should have actually upgraded a system before engaging in this fight. Alright, let's do it. So we got hacking, we got- This beam keeps coming up. I believe it is a glide beam, and I believe this laser shoots maybe twice? Okay, I can't quite tell. We're gonna have to, um... Yeah, let's do the pilot again. My evasion will be lowered to zero. My mantises don't get to do anything. Um, because with only a single level of teleporting, they will die of deoxygenation before I can teleport them back. Let me turn auto fire off, but what I can do is... Oh no, I only have four laser shots. Ah, no. So even by lowering the evasion, I don't actually get any value out of it until my Vulcan's a little bit faster. Anyway, with four shields, I can survive a glive beam, as long as it doesn't shoot at exactly the right time. Oh, I need to turn auto fire back on. So I'm just gonna have auto fire on so that the Vulcan does its job. Yeah, that does shoot two lasers. It is possible for this glive beam to hit, to hit me if it fires right after the laser has taken away two of my shields, but the AI is typically pretty poor at uh, doing that. All right, now the Vulcan's ready to go. It's firing every second. I'm gonna wait just a little bit and then activate my hacking to lower the evasion. I'm gonna set the Vulcan onto the shields. 
Jesus. Firing every second at the shields. And when my hacking comes back online, I'll be able to get all these other lasers to hit as well. Actually, that's not even going to be relevant. The ship's going to blow up. Yeah, that was, that was a good move with this Vulcan. I'm glad that I did that. Stun bomb I don't think I'm going to be using. Yeah, it just stuns crew. Fun, but not needed. Let's get my last bar. And now, think carefully. Yeah, let's go for maximum hacking. And I will also get maximum teleportation. And I don't want to go to any more stores. I'm done. I mean, the... I guess there could have been a weapon there or something, but I think with this out with this outfit I can do it. Got some intruders on board. How tough are these intruders? It's mantises. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take this one slow. We're going to just use my mantises to fight their mantises, and I'm going to bring my Zoltan and my NG nearby to serve as backup. There's, a def there's two defense drones, so my hacking drone is not going to get through, unfortunately. But their weapons are going to have a hard time getting through my shields. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the Vulcan on the shields. And I guess I'll set everything else on the pilot, so in case they get through, I can lower their evasion. I'm going to move my mantises over, bring in the backup team. Oh yeah, they have a Defense Drone Mark II and a Mark I, so they um, can actually shoot down a bunch of my lasers as well. Okay, the good news is though that I do have my Vulcan online now, and everything is just auto-firing at something. Now I can send my Mantises in, where do I want to send them in? Well, there's Mantises on the enemy side as well, and there is a Med Bay which I can't really disrupt very well, but because I can't get my hacking through there. But let's put everything on the med bay, I guess, and send these guys to attack the pilot. See what I can do with that. Am I getting anything through? I don't know if I'm getting anything through. Crap. And I don't have a, a boarding drone. Well, a boarding drone would have also been disrupted. I guess I could try sending a hacker hacker through. It might get through if the enemy defense drones go after my laser shots. It's a possibility. It didn't get through. All right, I got one of the one of the drones just got hit by a laser and died though, so that was good. All right, I actually got some stuff through into the med bay. All right, all right. Now that the med bay is down, I think I'm gonna take my chances and I'm gonna turn off everybody shooting at the med bay. And now my healthy mantises are gonna attack their damaged mantises in a broken med bay. And I might be able to finish this off without having to actually destroy the ship. The med bay has no oxygen for some reason. Oh, there's a breach, I guess. All right, so I guess the guys ran away from the lack of oxygen, but they did not run away from their death. All right, that was good. That was a good example of an integrated strategy where I did need my weapons to get through the shields, but I also needed the teleporter to actually finish the job effectively. Let's go ahead and um, max out the teleporter, get a little bit of faster healing, which is handy, and get better sensors. Oh, I don't have quite enough for the sensors. All right, it's fine. We'll get those later. So the healing is not just a convenience, it's also good because with faster healing you can do better like mid-combat healing and get your people back out there to keep on fighting. So that has some relevance beyond convenience. There's another storage I'm still gonna ignore. All right, let's jump here, have a fight. Um, don't wanna attack this guy. This looks like he's got a missile, a laser, and a pike beam. Let's attack him. I bet I can get better than 35 scrap, especially considering that these are all NG and Zoltans again. There's no med bay, there's no cloning bay. They are just ripe for the pickings. 
and they're in a lot of trouble. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and depower the med bay temporarily and put up a defense drone against these missiles. We're just gonna have everything auto fire for a little bit to um, get through the Zoltan shield. I don't think I'm gonna need, however, to use a hacking drone on this, or a, a, a hacking, I, I'll call it a hacking drone, sure. I don't think I'm gonna need to use the hacking on this because the defense zone, shoot, the defense drone shoots down the missiles, the remaining lasers and stuff is just not enough. Okay, so uh, my mantises took out like three people or something. I don't care about destroying these weapons. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need the hacking thing. I just wanna heal up my mantises. My, I'll rely on my defense zone to or defense drone to take the missiles down. There is a risk with that strategy because, of course, the defense drone can either miss or it can be shot down by a laser. But because, thanks to my faster med bay, my mantises got healed up quicker than usual, and then they could hop right on back. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna shoot. If I do this, do my mantises die? <sighs> I could do this for science, but the problem is if my mantis has died, it would actually be really, really bad. Uh, let's do that. Even though I don't need to delay the fleet, I really couldn't afford to lose my mantises there. I don't know if they, if how well that you know it's been scripted, if it actually keeps that in mind. But yeah, that delay doesn't do me any good. I was already gonna run it up beam markers by jumping up here and then jumping to the exit, and I get nothing. All right, well, it happens. All right, so what do we got here? This is a nice one. They do have this defense drone, so I can't hack it, but these lasers are not gonna get through my shields. So as long as I can uh, just get through to this med bay, I should be fine. I don't think they can get through at all. This thing, I believe, is a, a drone that takes down enemy drones, which doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna charge up my Vulcan, get through to the med bay, and then once I am through to the med bay, um, I can just take these people out with my mantises. All right, the Vulcan is starting to shoot. I'm gonna just put my uh, mantises in now to lower the evasion by distracting the pilot. All right, the med bay is on fire. I'm gonna switch gears now and start attacking the shields, and I'm gonna turn off my other lasers. I don't particularly want to hit my own mantises, but when I, because the mantises now are going to come in and attack these guys in the med bay. My mantises were a little bit damaged. I don't know if they can make it. I'm going to turn off my Vulcan laser here. Ah, uh, yeah, my mantises are going to get the job done. Wait, is there a clone? No, no, no. I, I did this. I, I checked. <laughs> I checked in the beginning. There was no cloning bay. There was no med bay. Um, so yeah, we're good. Okay, we got 124 scrap. So now we can start getting some of these niceties. Uh, I can get another drone control, so I can do a defense drone and the anti-personnel drone, which could be handy. Let's get better doors. Let's get better sensors. Let's get some more piloting. This is not that important because I'm still going to have a pilot on, but it's nice to have extra system power so that if it does get damaged, that uh, it, my piloting, my evasion doesn't drop to zero immediately. Okay, this is going pretty well. Now I can get to the next sector and have the last stand. The only thing I can imagine getting more of now is just more engine for a little bit of extra evasion, um, but that's pretty much it. So here, I just wanna try get get to this flagship. That's pretty much it. I don't even wanna necessarily have any, any fights. If I happen to be forced into a fight, then fine. But I'm ready to go now. All right, well, it looks like there's gonna be fighting no matter what, so let's have the fighting, but let's go ahead and do it. So I can actually avoid this, but since I'm here, let's go ahead and take care of it. So now I can see the weapons charging because my systems are upgraded and I still have a person on them. This time there is no defense drone, so I am gonna send a hacker to the med bay, which is quite convenient here because that also stops the pilot from getting out. Oh, Jesus! Before my hacking drone landed, somebody else wandered over to the medbay. God damn it. All right, well, anyway, um, yeah, I guess we're gonna start the Vulcan going. 
Uh, I'm gonna go for the weapons this time, because I have a hacker this time, and I really do want to take some of these weapons down. As we just saw, thanks to their drone, they are able to get through my shields. So I do need to destroy the weapons. Um, okay. My, oh, I need to have this on auto-fire. Holy shit. All right, my heavy laser doesn't need to be auto-firing, but my Vulcan definitely should be. All right, what the hell's happening? Oh, people are walking through the med bay? Yeah, no. You're trapped. So I'm gonna shoot down the... I'm gonna have my mantises destroy the piloting. Um... I don't have a missile defense up? Why? Oh, maybe that's why they got damaged through, because I didn't have a frickin' missile thing. Ah, oh, Jesus. So I'm taking unnecessary damage here. Um, but... I think they... Yeah, they're down to the last person. Okay. That was a lot of scrap reward, which is pretty good. I mean, every point of hull damage might matter in the end. So, you know, there's, there's a risk that I took by taking that damage. Not a risk, really. It's more of a stupidity that I took. I shouldn't have let those missiles get through. But now, let's take a look. I don't need all the way up to three healing. I don't need any more of this. This is a pretty expensive insurance policy. So I can have the eighth system power, so if I get damaged once, none of my weapons go offline. But I'd rather just, I think, upgrade the engine so I have better evasion. Um, yeah, that seems fine to me. 100 scrap really goes kind of a long way. So here's where you start, like, not having enough battery power for all the stuff that you like. I've upgraded my reactor as much as it can be upgraded, but I don't have anything left over to use on my engine. But, um, yeah, I think we should be good. This, this is a pretty good layout. Uh, now I just need to get to the flagship store. Uh, interesting. Well, there's nothing really at the base. I've been to the base before. I'm like, oh, it's the base. It'll be great. And then there's, like, nothing there. So let's uh, go to the store, see what they've got for me. And the answer is a weapon pre-igniter, actually, which is interesting. Um, Jesus, that's actually very interesting indeed. I just wish I hadn't spent all my scrap upgrading my engine. God damn it. Well, I don't need the scrap recovery arm anymore, or the long-range sensors. Those are one-time uses. I don't need the stun bomb or the boarding. I'm not using it. And I can get a weapon pre-igniter so that my stuff starts out being able to shoot. That means I'm faster to get to the point of my Vulcan being able to uh, lower its recharge. Yeah, let's do it. I think that's more valuable than spending my scrap to repair my ship. Does kind of suck, I've got nothing to sell. I could actually sell, I want this for the final fight. I could sell the anti-personnel drone if I'm really confident that I'm not gonna need it. And that would let me repair my last two spots. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna make sure that I do a really good job in um, the fight against the final boss so that I don't need to um, have the anti-personnel drone. And I suppose we can start with having it like this. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll think about it when we get there. So now I just wait and here's the final boss. So let's, let's pause a little bit and talk some strategy. So uh, in case you haven't watched my other videos or don't know, the boss needs to be defeated three times. The first time you defeat him, the left wing falls off, and then he gets a little bit harder. Because I guess having your ship blow off uh, ha half of its wings makes it stronger. Second time you defeat it, its right wing shoots off, breaks off, and then it gets a little bit harder. And then the third time you defeat it, it actually dies. Now the thing about this ship is that in the second stage, it's got defense drones, which stop you from being able to use hacking. Um, but in the first stage, you can use hacking, and you can choose what you want to use it on. So, um, on top of that, we got this thing which shoots three lasers, or three ions, this thing which shoots three lasers, this thing shoots three missiles, and this thing is a glive beam. It's a beam that deals three damage, so as long as you have at least three shields up, it does nothing. What you can basically do is you can disable all the weapons, because the weapons are separate from the rest of the ship, and then just leave the glive beam alone, and then you can do nothing about it. The enemy can do nothing with you. Then you want to defeat as much of the crew as possible, because any crew that you don't defeat will start boarding your ship in the final phase and just make it mo that much more annoying. Now, on top of that, if you defeat all the crew, then the AI takes over, and that's bad, because when, they, when the AI, AI takes over, the weapons start getting automatically repaired. So you want to leave one crew alive, and that's like a little puzzle. is like, well, who do you leave alive? And there's a couple different ways you can do it. It's obviously tempting to leave the Glive person alive, but when this ship 
part breaks off before the third fight, he'll die, and then there will be no crew left. You can leave the missile person alive, and that way, uh, you just have missiles ploinking off against your shields all the time. Um, not missiles, sorry, lasers going off against your shields and doing nothing. The problem is that the later stages of the boss shoot lots of lasers at you and drones and stuff. So having these extra three lasers coming at you is a problem. There's no perfect answer to this, but my preference is just to leave one of the crew members in the base of the ship. That way I can always deactivate all the weapons and it's annoying, but it, I think, makes it easiest in the long run. So let's unpause. Um, their hacking went on my pilot, so I will sometimes have zero evasion, which is fine. Let's wait for it to uncloak. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to trigger the med bay. This makes it easiest in the end to kill the enemy crew. It's obviously harder in the short term, but uh, in the long term, this is going to be the most useful option. Next, I am going to start auto-firing at the shields. I want to take these down, and I need to get some power from elsewhere. And the top priority here is to get rid of these missiles, because the missiles are obviously the most dangerous thing. All right. I'm, I'm, am I gonna be able to kill this guy? We'll try it. I don't know if I can kill him or not, but we'll see what happens if I cook him alive in there for 10 seconds. Right, so there's the missiles. I need to put up a defense drone. No power available, so let's get more off the engine and put up a defense drone. This can take out one or sometimes two of the three missiles. That time one of them missed. Uh, we had some damage on the teleporter, which is not good. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm gonna temporarily depower the defense drone to get oxygen flowing and max out my engine. I do need to have bars left over to bring my shields back up, so I need three bars. Can you guys please destroy these missiles? Alright, so my Vulcan's all charged up. Did my defense drone just get shot down? It might have. I shouldn't run out, of, run out of drone parts though. Okay, the missiles are dead. So now, this is where it's really helpful to have the maxed out teleporter, because now I teleport my guys back. And the teleporter will come online as soon as possible. So I can send them to destroy the next system. Okay, we're starting to take out the shields. I don't want to damage the ship too much because uh, then I could accidentally kill it. Are you going to the med bay? Oh uh, yeah, come to the med bay, guys. Oh, hang on, I gotta stop shooting. These guys, these these things, these things are getting damaged. And remember, when you oh god, my med bay's not powered up. Oh god, oh Jesus. Uh, that was a silly mistake. Remember that uh, each time a, a system gets damaged, it, the ship takes the damage. That's very significant because it means that when my mantises destroy these weapons, uh, I, I cause damage to the ship and could potentially blow it up. I have lost the game doing that before. Oh, I can't see what's happening. Oh, there's somebody in the med bay. Yeah, you're gonna get cooked. All right, so now we're gonna take out the ions. All right, the, the glide beam did get through a little bit. Let's get some oxygenation in there. All right. I think we're gonna, we're gonna take a slow road here. Very slow road. I am just going to destroy the ions and then destroy the lasers. At that point, there is no way for this ship to be able to damage me. And I can focus on destroying as much of the crew as possible. So my level three teleporter's back. Let's take out the lasers. Again, the the, destru the destruction of the crew, it doesn't matter for this fight, but it does matter for the final fight because on top of everything else that you have to deal with, uh, also dealing with the um, boarding parties is a problem. You do have to be a little bit careful because the doors on this ship are level three, so the mantises can't get around very easily. 
But the flip side to that is that my teleporter is very high level, so I can teleport them out. But you still have to be careful because uh, there's a chance that you will um, run into a cloaking situation. So if your mantises get cloaked or are on the ship and about to die when the ship is in cloaking mode, that's when you can run into some trouble. Okay, so there's five crew members. I want to kill off four of them. The question is, what's the best way to do that? Well, I think the best way is simply to just um, go here, attack the pilot. So what's going to happen is this pilot's going to get really damaged, and he's going to run to the med bay. And he's going to attack that door, attack that door, attack that door, and he's finally... It's gonna take a while, because these doors are level three. He's finally gonna break through, and then I'm gonna turn on my hacking drone, and they're gonna cook, get cooked alive. I don't know why they didn't run out of the door. That, oh shit, oh my god, my, our, our mantis is gonna die. Please, 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 uncloak. Oh my god, that was way too close. It's still way too close. I shouldn't have let that go. He got down to one health. Well, I got super lucky there, and I made a bad mistake. I should have pulled them out sooner. Okay. So, um, why are they fighting to get into the med bay? I don't actually know. Oh, right, because they're trying to get healed up. It's, it still works. Um, ah, I can't really fire that many shots in there. All right, there. One, one, one ought to do it. Let's light some fires in. Again, you have to be kind of careful not to do it too much because you can destroy the ship. And I still have more crew that needs to die. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this area. All right, the hacking is about to come back online. I need to be careful because my mantises are destroying this and once that gets destroyed, it's gonna be another damage. I actually would rather they didn't attack that. I'm just gonna tell them to run. So yeah, possibly getting rid of cloaking is not a bad strategy. Okay. Now we turn up the oven. It's a bit of a problem, because all three of these guys might die. And if they die... Shit. So now we just have the Glive guy. Uh, okay. That means that in the final fight, the AI is going to be active, which means that these weapons will get slowly repaired. And that's bad. I should have actually been a little bit more careful. Um, shoot, that's unfortunate. It won't matter in the next fight, but in the fight after the next one, the AI is going to be active, and that's going to be bad for me. Well, anyway, let's go to the ship. Is there any useful upgrade here? Um, not particularly. I guess maybe the med bay, but I don't have enough for it in any case. All right, so the Federation ship is going here, so let's go there. So this is gonna be a tough one. This is when we're up against the drones, and there's a defense drone there, which will stop the hacking drone from working. The good news is that I have uh, killed all the crew, and while that is gonna screw me in the next fight, oops, I need to put the fucking shields up, Jesus. Uh, while that is gonna screw me in the next fight, uh, it's gonna be very nice here because I can just send the drones and just or send my mantis and just destroy the drones but at the moment i think my main priority as per usual is to just destroy these missiles so th this fight's not the really bad one it's the next one that's going to be very rough okay, so we'll get rid of the missiles yes yeah, so here comes the power surge let's teleport my mantis is back. So lots of drones. This is why it's good to have four shields, even if you don't care that much about shields. Let me max out my evasion here. With 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 a highly qualified engine person and pilot and this many bars in evasion, you should be okay unless you're very unlucky. I don't need my I don't need my defense drone anymore because I destroyed the missiles and the AI isn't active yet. All right, we got this just shit. Um, yeah, this is where anti-personnel would actually been kind of handy. What I'm gonna do next is a little bit of a gamble move. I'm gonna go here and just attack the drone system. Um, the reason for that is I need to heal my Zoltan. 
Uh, the reason for that is that I want this boarding thing to stop functioning. Okay, so shit's starting to get through. I'm gonna... I should have been shooting this whole time. I'm gonna start shooting at those lasers. Oh my god. Oh god, this is gonna be a shit show. This is gonna be a regular shit show. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I don't know how I didn't get more screwed there. This is definitely not the finest I've ever played. But... We're gonna take out this drone system. And I think those lasers, are they destroyed? Yes, they're gone. So we're about to have another power surge, but this time I actually have all my shields up. And there's a lot of beams. Beams are good because they don't actually get through your shields. One problem is that I don't have my Zoltan helping increase my shield recharge. Right, so the drones are finally all dead. At this point, I just don't think there's anything I need to really care about. So let's send them home. And... Goodness, that room is deoxygenated. Let's, uh... Send my... NG person... Okay. To get healed. I'm gonna actually crank up the healing. The reason is, I want the... NG to help me repair that breach. While the mantises get healed. And I think we can just auto-fire. I mean, it's, it's whatever. I guess I'll put the Vulcan on the, uh... Shield. My Vulcan chain laser onto the shields. Okay, so, could be worse, could have been better. I'm pretty happy that I've only taken this much damage, given how how many lasers there seem to be while I had no shields up, so I'll take it. Um, now, anything, I can't get this insurance policy with that, I guess we're just going to get more piloting. I don't, I don't think the healing is going to be that essential. Alright, uh, now we're going to have the final fight. This one's going to be tough, because the AI is now on, and it's going to be repairing the systems. Which is not good. So, the question is, where do I send my mantises first? The mind control is very annoying, obviously. But, I think these missiles are still the number one problem. And I'm going to start auto-firing at the mind control... Uh, there's no more drones this time, so I am going to use my hacking. And maybe mind control is going to be the most valuable thing to hack, actually. Just so that I don't, um... Hang on a second, let me get my defense drone up and running to shoot down some of these missiles. It only got one of them that time. Okay, please destroy the missiles, thank you. That gives me my battery power back. Let's send... Oh god. This guy has been going on for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna just do the mind control. Oh, but I haven't been shooting this entire time because I'm terrible at this game! Oh god. <laughs> I need to really get to work on... Uh, this Zoltan shield, because it blocks the hacking. I forgot, because it, it doesn't block the teleporting, but it does block the hacking problem. Oh, does this undo all of the value it did? Oh my god, it totally does. Oh, jeez. Alright. Mind control is a bit of a problem. Oh, Jesus. Alright, 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 alright. Oh yeah, the, the, the AI is gonna be keep, gonna continually be fixing these damn missiles, too. Alright. So what I need to do is get the Zoltan shield down. That's what is going to have to be my priority number one. Um, forget about the teleporter for now. Forget about the hacking, actually, for now. I need to get the Zoltan shield down. And I also need to heal up my people. 
Alright, you guys just need to start shooting at the Zoltan shield. Oh man, I'd be so annoyed if I lost after all this, just because I forgot to fire my weapons. Wow, my evasion didn't really kick in there. Okay. Alright, we got through the Zoltan shield. We can now hack. The question is, what do we hack? I think I gotta hack this mind control. This is just ridiculous. Alright, stop the mind control, please. Now we need to fix the... Actually, I don't care about fixing the teleporter. I just need to damage the ship. Which part is the most relevant? Let's go ahead and damage these missiles again. Even if all they do is just go on missile takedown duty, those mantises are doing a good job. I'm going to have my Vulcan laser try to shoot the shields down. And you guys are going to fix the engine. So that I can have as much evasion as possible. Right, the Zoltan shield came back up. So that was the result of that um, supercharge, which is actually good. So it does a power surge, and when it does a power surge, it either shoots a bajillion lasers at you, or um, it... Sorry, I got distracted because I realized that I uh, didn't have any oxygen on. So it either shoots a bunch of lasers at you or it brings back the Zoltan shield. All right, let me send my mantises back. Okay, what do I need? I think I'm actually okay here. I think I might just, with all the shields down, just keep on shooting at the ship. Actually got some evasion that time. All right, so that wasn't perfect. But if anything, it just goes to show that the red tail can be very powerful, even with some subpar play. I was able to defeat the final boss. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes there in those final fights, so skill matters, a, you know, a great deal, not just what your loadout is. But anyway, you can see that with the laser strategy, I was able to never have to care about missiles and just shoot down uh, overwhelm enemy shields with lasers. Hacking, the new mechanic, provided some nice support there. And the teleporter, as always, was, of course, fantastic. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I shall see you again soon. Take care. Oh, yeah. Did that, did that rank? Uh, I guess, I guess that score, yeah, 4252. I guess that wasn't as high as my other red tails scores, huh? That's a shame. Well, anyway, that'll do it, folks.